like to see a show of hands. How many people are in the reg tech industry today? Okay. How many people are in a financial services incumbent? That's good. How many people are service providers to financial services? Most of them. How many are regulators? Thank God. All right. <laughs> That's good. Perfect. Uh, how many people voted for Donald Trump? <laughs> no hands. I didn't either. Uh, uh, to be fair, I did not vote for Hillary Clinton either. Um, <clears throat> it was a little bit of a mess. So uh, let's, uh, let's dive in. As Pascal said, um, I'm a uh, historically a, a fintech venture capitalist. And uh, we take a maximalist view of venture capital, meaning uh, of financial services, meaning um, anything that is related or adjacent. And that's how we got interested in reg tech. Um, just about a year ago, um, we, we were hearing from our partners or, or friends in the financial services incumbents that regulatory costs were not only uh, accelerating but, but were exploding and the complexity uh, was uh, was booming and far outweighing their ability to manage uh, their costs and not only their costs but also just their simple compliance. We we're also hearing the same thing from our consulting friends. So it was clear that it was an interesting area to, to look. So um, we dove in and indeed found that it was a, an interesting area for us to begin looking for investments. Um, but when I, when I thought about it, and, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, RegTech, but before that, let, let's, let's make sure we all understand uh, kind of how we got here. Uh, you know, there's always been regulation, there's always been some technologies that have helped uh, uh, incumbents with compliance. But uh, things changed, obviously, with the financial crisis. To $22 trillion of value was erased uh, in economic value, and 27 million people were unemployed after the, the crisis. So obviously there was an imperative and urgency for regulators to step in to protect consumers and to make sure there was not another financial crisis. So re-regulation, more regulation, protection of the consumer was, was very important. What happened to the, to the banks in particular was the, the business model was essentially changed with uh, aggressive regulation. So return on equity went from 12 to 15% in developed markets down to 4 to 6%. Actually, in the UK, it's still below uh, 4% for most major banks. So the business model has changed for banks, but the business itself has not changed. So one of the opportunities for RegTech is to help the business model adjust to the new economics of their business. So. We, I think we all know that there's a lot of regulation out there, but let, let's do some fun facts to uh, just, uh, just put it into context. So um, I heard this two months ago. If, if the existing rules uh, were a piece of paper and you stacked all the rules up, it would be as high as the Eiffel Tower, wherever that is. Uh, if, you just, if you do the same pieces of paper for just the rules that are on the books, uh, that are planned uh, in 2020, the stack of paper would be three times as high as the Eiffel Tower. So as you can see, the next three years are, are uh, explosive growth in, uh, in regulation. Um, in the US with Dodd-Frank, when that was released, it was 1,300 pages. Um, it's now 23,000 pages. 